Hello English speaking world, all the German learners, I greet you. In this video we will take a look at the conjunctive 1. The conjunctive 1 is mostly used in indirect speech. That is when you take someone's statement and use it as part of a sentence as opposed to quoting it. For example, direct speech. Er sagt, es ist gut. He said, it is good. In indirect speech, this statement becomes a subclause. Er sagt, dass es gut ist. He said that it is good. Now, if you want to distance yourself from this statement, that is when you use the conjunctive 1. You do it by taking the verb of that statement and turn it into the conjunctive 1 form. Er sagt, dass es gut sei. He said that it was good. Now, how is the conjunctive form 1 constructed? For all tenses, you take the first verb, verb 1, that is the conjugated verb, and you use the conjunctive 1 conjugation on it. Watch out though, in a subclause structure, that verb will be at the very end of the sentence. The conjunctive 1 conjugation is simple. It is just like the conjugation of a modal verb, with one difference. After the stem, there must be an E. For example, sollen is a modal verb. The conjugation is ich soll, du sollst, er soll, wir sollen, ihr sollt, sie sollen. Now we add an E after the stem. So the conjunctive one forms of this verb would be Ich solle, du sollest, er solle, wir sollen, ihr sollet, sie sollen. Now, before you start learning these forms, you should know that you don't need most of them. You actually only need to know the first and the third person singular. They are always the same form too. Now, why is that, you will ask? Well, the conjunctive one is too formal to be used in combination with du and ihr. So, if it's not some sort of medieval drama, you're not likely to hear it. And then it cannot be used in combination with wir and sie either, because the form is always the same as the present tense. So, you wouldn't realize that someone is trying to distance himself from this statement. That's why there is a rule to use the conjunctive 2 instead of the conjunctive 1 if present and conjunctive 1 are the same form. This also happens a lot with the first person singular, but not always. That means basically you only have to learn one form of conjunctive which is for the first and third person singular. The conjunctive 1 is always regular with all verbs, except sein. As you can see, sein has no e at the end of the first and the third person singular. Now, let's look more at when to use it. Like I said, it is used for distancing yourself from a statement or an opinion. The following three situations are typical. Number 1. In very formal speech, to show your neutrality. Typically in news, reports or official statements. For example, Der Zeuge sagte, er habe einen Mann gesehen. The witness said, he had seen a man. Number 2. To show that your opinion is different. For example, Karl meint, der Polizei könne man nicht trauen. Karl thinks, you could not trust the police. Number 3. To show doubt about the truthfulness of a statement. For example, Peter hat gesagt, Maria habe Geld gestohlen. Peter said, Maria had stolen money. Now, if you're very sure that the statement is a lie, you would probably use the conjunctive 2 instead. 
Let's look at some more examples. Er sagte, ich bin krank. Er sagte, er ist krank. Er sagte, er sei krank. In this example, using the conjunctive expresses that you're not sure if he is actually ill, while using the present tense means that you believe it. Er sagte, ich lebe in England. Er sagte, dass er in England lebt. Er sagte, dass er in England lebe. In this example, the conjunctive one means that you can't confirm whether he actually lives in England. If you use the present, that means you think that this statement can be trusted. Er sagte, ich will ein Auto kaufen. Er sagte, dass er ein Auto kaufen will. Er sagte, dass er ein Auto kaufen wolle. Here the conjunctive shows uncertainty about this man's plan, while the present tense means that you believe he will do it. Er sagte, ich komme aus Nordkorea. Er sagte, dass er aus Nordkorea kommt. Er sagte, dass er aus Nordkorea komme. Here you have doubts whether this is true or not. By the way, if you distance yourself from your own statement, that means you're saying you just pretended something. Ich sagte, ich bin Student. Ich sagte, dass ich Student bin. Ich sagte, dass ich Student sei. In this example, the conjunctive one sounds like you pretended to be a student. Ich sagte, ich bin Professor XY. Ich sagte, ich sei Professor XY. In this example, you pretended to be a professor. Bonusbedeutung The conjunctive one has another meaning in combination with a third person singular. It is an old-fashioned way of saying shall or should. You might see it in old phrases like, for example, Lang lebe der König. Long live the king. Which means, the king shall live long. Or, Gott sei Dank. Thank God. Which means, we should thank God. It is also used in old recipes to explain what to do. For example, Man nehme einen Löffel Zucker. You should take one spoon of sugar. Alright, that's it for today's lecture. I hope you found this helpful. Please like and share my video. And if you have any questions, please write them in the comments and I will try to answer them. Vielen Dank für Ihre Aufmerksamkeit.